Okay, in this problem, we'll be doing the 2017 AMC 10A, problem number 23. How many triangles with positive area, in other words, normal, have all their vertices at points i, j in the coordinate plane where i and j are integers between 1 and 5 inclusive? In this problem, it's hard to know how to begin. We're trying to think, how do I, I mean, how many points do I get? Sometimes it's helpful when you're not sure how to start to just take baby steps. The brain works differently when you're looking at something on your paper versus visualizing it in your mind. And it will sometimes see uh, a part of it that it can capitalize on to get onto the solution path. So let's look at the first quadrant because these are XY coordinates basically and they range from 1 to 5. So let's go x values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let's, uh, how can we do this? We need points there. Let's just make the points. It might feel tedious, but you know what? It could generate a solution path. So we've got five points going up, and we've got five points here, and we'll have five here, Take the time to make it nicely, somewhat organized. If you have graph paper, that's great. And you should have graph paper because it's allowed on the test. Okay, that would save a lot of time. Now what? We can see we get five rows in, of five columns of five. So that's five times five. There's 25 total points here. And we need to make a triangle with those points, their vertices among the points. Then we first think, oh, we can probably just do 25 choose 3. I always do that. <laughs> you probably do too. 25 choose 3 is going to be equal to 25 times 24 times 23 over 3 factorial. The 22 factorials are going to cancel. So we don't need to worry about them. 3 factorial is 6. It cancels with 24 to leave 4. This is going to be 100 times 23 is 2300. So we stop, and if we're in a hurry or something, we were like, oh, maybe it's E. But most of us probably recognize this is the first of several trap answers in this problem. And so we might feel ourselves pretty smart if we can think of the ones in the rows. If I get three points in one row or three points in one column, uh, then I'm not going to get a triangle because it'll be a straight line. So how do we get those? Every column has five points, so five choose three points in the first column is the same as five choose two, which is 10. I'd memorize that, it comes up a lot. There'll be 10 in every column, 10 in every row, 10 times 10 is 100. We subtract 100, and now we're at 2200. And we think, ah, oh, maybe we've got it. No, this is the second trap answer in the problem. Let's think. How else could it fail to produce a triangle with three points? Oh, there's diagonals. Okay, so along the main diagonal, there's five points. What if I shift it up here? There'll be four points. Let's go up one more diagonal. There's three points. So the three points here, that's three choose all three will give us one way. The four points here is four choose three, which is the same as four choose one. That's four ways. The five points is, again, five choose three. That's ten. You'll get the same 4 and 3 going this way. 5 and 5 is 10, plus 10 is 20. Okay, that's just going this direction. What about this direction? That's another 20, total of 40. Let's subtract. And this is probably the best trap answer on here because you've already avoided two of them and you felt really good about yourself. And you're like, ah, see, I've got it. And you got all this way near the end of the, the race and you, you didn't quite make it because this is a trap answer. Let's see why. This is not uh, the only way you can get points in kind of a diagonal. Let's think about slope. If I start at this point and I go down 2 and over 1, I'll be here. Down 2 and over 1, all three of those points lie on the same line and therefore, again, violate the ability to be a triangle. It'll also happen for this point, this point, and this point, and this point, this point, and this point. So going this direction, there's three that work like that. Going the other direction from upper right to lower left, you'll also likewise get three. 
If we subtract 6, we don't see an answer, so let's go back and look some more. It's not just down 2 and over 1, it's down 1 and over 2. I could also have used this point, down 1 over 2, to get here, and that will also produce 3 going this way. And similarly, down 1 over 2 going the other way will give 3 more. A total of 6 for that kind as well. 6 plus 6 is 12. We subtract to get 2148. Okay, but there's still one more answer, 2128. There's so many trap answers in this. Maybe we should be careful. Are we sure there's no more? Well, the only other options would be something like down 2 over 2. We've already covered that in the diagonal when we did 5 choose 3. Uh, we could also go down 3 and over 1, but when we try and go down 3 again, we're out of our range. This feels very good now. This is, in fact, the answer.